Well, I told everyone the ETF was going to try to grow in size, and now we have a leak that's showing how they're going to do it. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel, Wolverines. It's me, John Crump, your friendly neighborhood investigative journalist and gun rights activist. Today, we're going to be talking about the ATF, but before we go and do that, let's thank our sponsors. And today, it's JFD Supply. JFD Supply makes some of the sickest 80% kits on the planet. Their P320 kit is insanely cool. They also make Patmos slides, which are incredible as well. Check them out at JFD Supply. Just Google them and you'll find them. If you could do me a big favor, like, comment, and subscribe, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'm trying to battle the algorithm, so go ahead and help me defeat the damn algorithm because the algorithm sucks. All right, so let's talk about today's story. The ATF is going to grow in size. A few weeks ago, I think it was two, I released a leak that showed the ATF wants to double in size in the next five years. And it looks like they're starting to do that. Effective October 31st, there's going to be four new branches. The first branch is the Firearms Enforcement Officers Development Branch, or FEODB, which we're going to talk about a little bit later because the other three are a hell of a lot more interesting, and those are the Field Response Branches. The Field Response Branches are separated into three regions, East, West, and Central. Each FRB is responsible for the administration and oversight management of firearms enforcement officers regional field response program. What the hell is that? Well, I'm going to tell you because this is also new. Okay. So there's going to be seven branches around the country made up of FEOs. Before we get into that, let's talk about where they work at now. They currently work in Martinsburg, West Virginia, all under one office. But they're going to take these officers and put them in seven different areas. And they're going to hire a hell of a lot more to do this as well. The FEOs examine evidence in criminal and civil cases. If you remember the rare trigger thing, that was determined to be a machine gun by an FEO. The FEOs will consist of a mix of current employees and new hires. The employees will be assigned to one of seven hubs, and these hubs will be broken down into three branches. The west branch will consist of hubs in Seattle, Denver, and Las Vegas. The central branch will consist of hubs in Kansas City, Chicago, and Dallas. The east branch will consist of hubs in Martinsburg, West Virginia, and Atlanta. Dallas will be the first place where a hub rolls out, and the ATF is targeting the second quarter of 2022. The ATF says it needs these hubs to assist in identifying criminal firearms and ammunition violations within a field division or office. The Bureau also states that the FEOs will be able to provide scene assistance to the ATF for whenever they execute a search warrant. It's trying to make it in a more timely manner, I guess. The ATF also says that it will save the government money. Now we're going to get into some things which I disagree with them on. According to the document, it says one regional FEO will cost the government $21,500 per year Minus the salary, of course, minus a lease vehicle, minus travel costs, and minus TDY expenses. An FEO of Martinsburg costs the ATF $30,500, but that includes costs like travel and everything else that's into the equation. All right, here's the funny thing. If you read through the document, it gives the actual breakdown of each FEO per Dallas filled hub when you add in all the costs. And that comes to $104,316 per FEO per year, which is a lot higher than $30,500. It's really insane. And I think they played with the math to make it look cheaper. The FEO development branch will be set up to help these new FEOs navigate the training basically. It will provide administrative functions and efficient management of 
the FEO's Professional Career Training Plan. So basically, they're the training division. And what is really funny is the ATF says, oh, it's going to save us a lot of money, but we're going to make all these new branches and hire all, all these new employees. But it doesn't take any consideration of that into the cost analysis, which I think is just dumb or done on purpose, which I'm pretty sure was just done on purpose. The disadvantage of the ATF list is none. So this is kind of really concerning that the ATF is expanding at such a fast rate. And only two weeks ago that we learned that the ATF is going to start expanding and now they have already started it. So yeah, I'm going to continue to monitor the situation and I'll let you know what else comes up. All right. I do these investigations all the time and I talk to a bunch of leaks and sometimes it can get a little bit costly because sometimes I have to pay for information and stuff like that and pay for other stuff. So if you want to help support me, you can help support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash John Crump. This came from one of my leaks, which I don't pay for. So good on him. But if you want to help support me so I can do investigations and stuff like this, patreon.com slash John Crump. These videos are short. The articles take about an hour to write, but all of the research and everything else that goes into it, that's what takes time. If you go over to AMLN a little bit later on, I will be releasing this with all the other stuff. So go ahead and check that out. All right. If you want to check out my live channel, I have a live channel at John Crump Live where I do streams and everything else. It's really cool. I talk to a lot of really cool people. All right, with that, we are done for the day. So I want you guys to stay ever vigilant, stay ever free, keep in the fight, and I am out. And what? Hold on. I'm forgetting something. Wolverine's mother...